everybody. Um, I hope you're all doing well today. And our lesson today is going to be coming for all ages, and we're going to be talking about prayer and maybe how to pray and just a little something that uh, we can remember that will help us when we pray. And, you know, sometimes we get a little intimidated, which means, you know, we, we're kind of scared to pray, especially out loud, and that's kids and adults. Some adults don't like praying out loud. And we get a little intimidated. We stumble over our words and... I can promise you that's not a big deal. If you go back and watch some of these videos, I stumble over my words often. If you've had a conversation with me, you know I stumble over my words often. But, um, you know, this is, and that's what prayer is. It's the conversation between you and God, whether it's out loud in front of people or whether it's at home by yourself or whether it's at meals or bedtime or whatever. It's really just a conversation with God and it's talking to God. And sometimes we think, you know, we oh, I don't know all the big fancy words. We don't have to use big fancy words. We don't have to... You know, there's not just one set way to do it. We're all different. We all say different things. But he wants us to talk to him like maybe we're talking to our daddy or like we're talking to our best friend. And that's how he wants us to communicate with him. And he already knows what's in our heart. He knows what's in our minds. He just wants us to tell him about it. He wants us to, to um, communicate to him. And I, I heard a little thing where a lady was telling about that, you know, every time somebody prays, it's like God... God is in heaven, and, and like he's like, hey, hey, angel choir, let's be a little bit quieter because Miss Kim is is praying. I want to listen to her. Or, or hey, hey, Peter over there, can 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 we not be so loud because um, Max is praying, and I want to hear what he has to say. And he listens to all of us, no matter when it is, no matter what we have to say, no matter how silly we think it is, or how you know how true it is, or whatever. He listens to all of us. So this is just a little thing about prayer that I want to teach y'all. And right here we see that it says pray. And the P, uh, and this is something y'all can just remember, the P is for praise. And that means when we're talking about praise, I mean, I'm not saying when you start your prayer that you need to be like singing a song and all this. Praise really means thank, to thank God, to be thankful. So, and it doesn't have to be, you know, According to who you are and what you are, your thankfulness may be totally different from somebody else's. You may wake up today and, be, and God, I'm just thankful for my bike. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. You know, as an adult, we may be thankful for jobs. We may be thankful for all kinds of things. But And it can be different every day. Of course, there's something to be thankful for every day. And if we went through a whole list, we would never get through. And uh, <clears throat> so, But that's what praise is. It's thanking God for the things He's already done, the things He's given us. You know, sometimes we may just be thankful we woke up today. Sometimes we may just be thankful that we have something to eat. Right now, I'm thankful if there's a day I don't have to cook. I'm thankful for that. I'm also thankful we have food that I can't cook. But, um, so th that's what praise is. And I think that gets us in the right mindset that we're thanking Him for the things that He's given us and what He's done. And it gives us in the mindset of what He's already done. Instead of just, God, I want, God, I need this, that, the other. It kind of shows us what He's already done. And the next one is repent. And sometimes I know even kids are like, what's that word? Or even adults it's like, oh, that word again. And it does mean to repent of our sins, which means we ask for forgiveness for what he's for what we've done. But it doesn't mean like we come to him like, oh God, I'm so sorry last week that I did this or that. <clears throat> we do ask forgiveness for what we've done, but sometimes it can be just, God, will you take this because I've messed it up and and I and I can't do this without you. Sometimes it is. I'm sorry that I said this. Or I'm sorry I treated somebody like this. Or I'm sorry that I'm um, sorry that I watched that or listened to that when I knew it wasn't right. Or I'm sorry that uh, maybe I shared that that I wasn't supposed to share. Or different stuff like that. So, and that's also getting our hearts and minds in the right place of we're, nobody's perfect. We all have things to ask for forgiveness for. So it's getting it. Not only have we praised Him and we've asked Him and we've praised Him and thanked Him for the things He's given us, but now. You know, we're kind of telling them, hey, I'm sorry for when I messed up. Because we all mess up. No matter who it is, we all mess up. So we're getting in the mindset of, you know, I'm sorry I messed up. I'm sorry I did this. I know that's not right. Or I'm, sometimes it may be, I'm sorry I left you out of this, God. I'm sorry I didn't let, allow you to be in this decision or allow you to be in this today. And so that's just what R is, repent or ask forgiveness. The next thing is A. So we got P-R-A. 
A is ask. And that's the things that we're really wanting to ask God for that day. And it could be, God, God will listen to it all. Whether you, ask, whether you ask for a new bike, or whether you ask just to have food for that day, or whether you ask to heal somebody, or whether you ask to, please, let's just go back to church, or whether you ask to see some of your friends, or soon, or, you know, no matter what it is that we're asking for, he's going to listen. He doesn't say, oh, well, that was silly, I don't care about that. He cares about it all. He wants to hear it. So, he, you know, sometimes how when we walk up to our parents and we ask something, they're like, go away. I don't, you know, I don't want to listen to that. That's not how God is. God will always listen. God will always want to know what we need and what we want. Does that mean we're always going to get it? No. But he, will, he wants to listen. He wants to hear the things that's in our heart. And, you know, you kind of think, oh, I'm not going to ask that. That's so silly. He already knows it. He already knows it's in your heart. So go ahead and say it. Like I said, it doesn't mean you're going to get it, but he wants to know everything. He wants you to tell him everything, no matter how serious it is, how silly it is, how trivial it is, it is at the time. He wants you to ask it. Then the next one is yield. And yield is kind of, you've probably seen the sign on the road, you probably ask your parents, what does that mean? And usually it means you kind of slow down and you look to see if anything else is coming, and if not, you can go on. And you yield to the traffic so you don't get run over. It's kind of everybody else's turn. But the way I look at this is after we've asked for it, we kind of need to stop for just a second. And, and instead of doing all these and when we get to ask, it's like, okay, we're done and bye. That's not, we need to stop for a second and maybe listen to what he's telling us. Or maybe we need to look around and, and see, you know what, I have it pretty good. Or maybe look around and say, you know, I've asked for all this, but so-and-so needs prayer. Or God may be telling me, hey, hey, slow down just a minute because you forgot about this. Or you forgot about this person. Or why you're asking for this, what about this one over here? So yield, I, I, I kind of look at it as just kind of a, well, hold on just a minute. Let's make sure there's nothing else. So whether it's we need to thank him for one more thing, whether it's, if that was that other thing that's bothering us that we just hate to tell God about that we got to, or whether it's that thing we need to ask for, whether it's for somebody else or for us, and we just need to kind of slow down. And sometimes this part right here is the hardest because sometimes it means that we just have to stop and listen. We've asked for all this stuff, and sometimes we don't stop to listen to what God's telling us. Maybe God's saying, um, I can't really, we can't do that right now, just hold on, that's not my time, and let's just wait, or maybe sometimes he's saying, nope, that's not the right thing right now, and sometimes he's saying yes, but we haven't even stopped to listen, we haven't even yielded for just a minute to see what God is wanting to tell us, so I want y'all to remember this, when, when you think about pray, you think about praise, repent, ask, and yield, and that's just something you can remember, never be scared to pray, Never be intimidated. Never be kind of shy to pray. God wants us to talk to him and he wants us to pray. And I don't care if every day you have to say, okay, Miss Kim says, praise, repent, ask, yield. If you do that, that gives you the steps to every day know how to pray and, and what to do. And it gives you a mindset to be in a good mindset for prayer. And as adults, this is stuff as adults we can follow. Like I said, it's not about the biggest words you can say, or it's not about how holy you are, or it's not about how many thou's and these and thans and all that you can use. It's about what's in your heart, and it's about what you ask. It's about how you come to God and how you approach God. And I would rather approach Him being thankful and asking forgiveness, and then asking, and then kind of slowing down to see what He's got to say, or maybe what else we may have forgotten, than just to come to Him and say, "I want, I need this, do that." Okay, I mean, right? All right, I hope y'all have a good week. If there's anything you would like for me to do a story about or to do an object lesson about, you can let me know. Um, share this with your buddy. Share this with your friends. Uh, mama, share this with other moms that maybe their kids are not getting to go to Sunday school or not getting to go to kids' time, and they need just a little reminder during the week. We all kind of need that. So thanks. Bye.